especially in tongue. No one couldn't walk alone. Tongue was like a battle zone. It's just about 20 minutes before the hour of 8 o'clock. I'm Kimberly D'Souza in your company and you're back on the Now Morning Show. Now this is usually known as Holy Week because we are going into the Easter season. And because we're going into the Easter season, I have with me uh, Inspector Michelle Lewis, who will be giving us some Easter tips for those parents who will no doubt be carrying their children to the beaches this weekend. Inspector Lewis, good morning and thank you so much for joining us on Now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Gerard. Good and morning. thank you for having us. <laughs> as usual, Pleasure. we always love yes. to welcome you here now we appreciate it now here. inspector we have good friday coming up and then we're moving into the easter weekend and we have all these parents who are going to be taking their children to the beaches do you have some tips for us in terms of how we can keep them safe yes we do um one of the things that the trinidad and tobago police service like to encourage is quality family time and during this easter period we know that it has been quite a while since families have had the opportunity to be together for the easter yeah. And that was affected, of course, by COVID. So we know that persons are going to be out, families are going to be out a lot. And so we want to encourage that type of family time, but we also want it to be done in a safe way, in a safe way, and where when everybody goes, everybody come back. Um, so when, for example, members of the family go to the beach, we're encouraging parents and adults who have the responsibility of children. And a child is anyone who is under the age of 18 years old. Mm -hmm. So even though someone might be 16 years, you still consider a child 17 years. And so when you have children in the water, especially the younger ones, don't have them further than like an arm's length away from you. Um, do not have them bathing in the water by themselves or even in a bathtub by themselves. Sometimes they would fill up the, you know, the pools at your home mm -hmm. and pay attention to the children. Um, the height of the water, the depth of the water, ensure that it is not very far from the waist of the child and ensure that at least one adult is in the water with the child. Sometimes we like to let children go into the water and watch them. But when an incident happens, the time is going to take for you to dive into that water to get to the child. So we encourage you to actually be in the water with the child and be in close proximity so that at a moment's notice you can be there. Children can do some really crazy things and some really, um, you know, adventurous stuff in mm. the water because children love water. Mm. And so we encourage parents and those with responsibilities for children, guardians, to be very, very attentive during um, this season here, during the Easter period, particularly with water. And we, we know that um, the Easter season, there's a lot of alcohol consumption, a lot of partying. What are some suggestions you would give for those parents that are going out and we know that the places that they are going to, the children won't be allowed to go there. What are some suggestions? You know? All right, so parents, um, for example, if a parent is going to a club or a bar that is not age appropriate for the child, um, the owners of such establishment ought not to have children enter. We would have had some experiences with that in the past. So that for anybody under the age of 18, the owner of the place is supposed to ask an ID for that child. Right? Uh, of course, alcohol consumption by children is illegal. Mm -hmm. The sale of alcohol to children is also illegal. The sale of cigarettes to children is also illegal. And so if, for example, a neighbor or an, uh, a resident or someone observed that there is a child who is being encouraged to indulge in such activities or them within a particular young age group are doing that, call the police, call 999-555, call the district police station, and we would send a patrol to intervene because what happened is that the mind of a child is not totally developed. Mm -hmm. And so um, they can be easily swayed into doing activities and getting themselves involved in activities that are wrong. Um, even when parents leave to go out, for example, they may want to go and engage in adult activity, which is fine. Mm -hmm. However, when you're leaving those children home, ensure that you do so with someone who has um, a responsible adult and not just any and anybody that you want to trust with the life of a child. Mm. We have a lot of reports coming out of the Child Protection Unit where um, parents leave children with a friend or a neighbor, someone who is, have questionable characteristics and you are leaving a child in care of that person because you want to go out and have some fun. And we have, like, we have seen through reports where in most cases, for example, children under the age of 12, in most cases, over 80% of the time, it's because of someone who is known to that child, that the child was sexually penetrated or the child was physically abused or something like that. 
hardly ever it is somebody that the child is not aware of. In the older ages, you would find it's because if someone, a friend or, um, you know, that they would have met on social media or from school of higher form or something like that. But for younger children, most of the time it's someone who the child is familiar with, a driver, a relative. And may I say, not all relatives have um, that kind of character and personality that you want to leave your child with. Okay. Um, so one would consider someone to be like 16, 17, a minor. Um, what you would say for those parents that are heading out but they're leaving someone at the age of 16 or 15 because they think they can manage themselves to look at others? The culture in Trinidad and Tobago has been to do that. Um, you know, there's a saying, all NZ or something like that. Right, so um, it has been a culture that has, in, that has been established over years, um, from generation to generation, where you know you try to give the children or child some level of responsibility and maturity, but it is not enshrining the law of Trinidad and Tobago. So that if you leave a child at home who's under the age of 18 and something happens to that child, the, either the parent, the guardian, or the legal guardian has responsibility to answer to the police why that child was unattended. Right, and um, of course, if for example, a child is left with another child and, and there's some kind of abuse or assault that takes place or willful neglect or abandonment or something like that, then that's a matter that is criminal in nature and for which the police would investigate. And, and that's um, for, for being at home, but what, what, what would you say as well for those that would be heading out? So the kids heading out at a little event mm -hmm. and the person that is in charge could be around the same age, probably 14 or 15, but they know how to travel, so. Right, so depending on, so for parents, um, know who your children are going with, um, have a network, so that, for example, and pool, so that, um, and not all parents have a vehicle, right, but for those parents who, who do have, we encourage you to assist. So for example, if four or five children are going out together, let the parents know who the children are and share the numbers. Um, children sometimes will be very private and secretive about who they're going out with, but you as a parent who are responsible for that child, ensure that you know who that child is going out with and communicate with the parents. Get an idea of where they're going exactly, what time they'll be returning, and you know, if it is, for example, where they're coming back, the taxi stand might be a bit dark, go to the road and meet the child and wait for the child there and bring the child or children inside as the case may be. Now, Inspector, I know that we had, I think it was two separate incidences of, um, of road accidents and people lost their lives over the weekend and of course condolences to their families. Um, I saw that the, the police is actually thinking about launching a zero tolerance policy on drivers for the Easter weekend. We have about one minute left. Just tell us quickly what that will entail. Is it that we're going to see more police presence? How exactly is that going to you know, pan out? Yes, the, the, we are going to see the police um, patrol policy is going to be rolling out this week. Um, and with that, you would see a heightened increase of police officers and, of course, um, police vehicles, mobility. And so that is because we know that during this Easter period, we would see some more um, users on the road. We would see persons, you know, trying to drive crazy to get to different places. You'll also see persons, or we, we are very mindful that uh, persons who want to engage in criminal activity, you know, um, merge themselves with the normal activities of the day. And so you can expect to get random stop and search, random police exercises, random patrols, and that is in to ensure, and of course, stop and search, searching a vehicle and that kind of thing within the normal ambit of the law to ensure that persons are safe and persons are allowed to go about their business in a safe environment. And of course, we have reduced crime during this Easter period. Nice. Inspector Lewis, it's always a pleasure to have you here on yes. the Normal Show. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so much, much for coming and just giving us those Easter tips, of course, how to keep your family safe over the weekend. Remember, there will be an increased police presence uh, this weekend as well, just to keep us safe.